Greetings! Dickie from Red Room Audio here to introduce you to the Gypsy Fiddle, part of our Traveler series, a collection of boutique sample libraries featuring traditional world instruments faithfully recorded on location from destinations around the globe. Gypsy Fiddle playing is known the world over for its passion, romance, and virtuosity. And for our Gypsy Fiddle, we traveled across the globe to Sofia, Bulgaria, to work with renowned violinist Stoyman Piev. Stoyman has performed classical and traditional Bulgarian music all over the world, both as a soloist and as a member of the Sofia Session Orchestra and other ensembles. Our sessions were co-produced by my friend George Stretsoff at the Bakery Studios in Sofia. Let's go over some of the features of the instrument we made together. The Gypsy Fiddle runs in contact 5.8.1 and above and is made up of two patches, a playable multi-sampled patch with many articulations and traditional Gypsy-style ornaments, and a phrases and effects patch, which we'll look at later in this video. This is the multi-sampled patch. The blue keys represent the playable range, and the colored keys here are key switches to select various articulations and ornaments. Now there's quite a bit going on behind the scenes here that isn't immediately apparent on the interface. This includes different types of sustain articulations and legato or portamento transitions triggered by velocity. You can see basic info underneath each articulation in the main panel. For example, you can see a regular sustain set to trigger on key switch C0 and at velocities between 26 and 115, whereas accented sustain is on the same key switch but kicks in between velocities 116 and 127. For more detail, you can see everything that's happening on the TACT page, which stands for Total Articulation Control Technology. TACT shows all the available articulations with customizable triggering rule settings. You can see here that the basic articulations are triggered by key switch, such as the shorts and ornaments. But there's some clever stuff going on with the articulations like pull off and hammer on, where they're both assigned to the same key switch, F sharp 1, but each articulation is triggered by a different velocity range pull-offs at velocity 1 through 64, and hammer-ons at 65 through 127. As you can see, there are several pages of articulations intact accessed with these dots. Now, this is just an example and how the instrument is set up by default. You can change these rules for any articulation and set the instrument up exactly how you want to play it, saving your preferred setup here. There are a couple of tacked presets to get you started. The full fat main preset with all articulations and ornaments, and also a stripped down core version. With intact, you can also load and unload articulations, adjust the speed of an ornament, and many other options. Notice that whenever you change an articulation's triggering rules intact, it gets updated in the articulations panel on the main page. Both included tacked presets have legato and portamento switched on by default, which makes the fiddle a blast to play right out of the box. Just overlap your MIDI notes to hear fluid transitions. Velocity 1 through 20 for portamento. And 21 and above for regular legato. To deactivate legato, just hold down your sustain pedal. Again, all this can be adjusted to your liking intact. Let's play through some of the core articulations, which are preceded by a square letter C icon in the articulations panel. Sustain is your bread and butter for long notes. There's a second type of sustain with progressive vibrato for slower, more lyrical passages. And a third type, the accented sustain, bites down hard at the beginning of a note. Trills can be half or whole step, set by the variation slider here. In fact, this slider has multiple uses, which I'll come to in a sec. We have two core types of short notes, spiccato and pizzicato.
Most gypsy melodies are embellished with lots of different types of ornaments. In the articulations panel, ornaments have a circle O icon. Most can be triggered at the beginning of a note, and many use the slider I mentioned before to set different played variations. Whenever you see the letter V next to an articulation, that means there are variations available. Our start note ornaments include slide up, flourish, Zardus, Hammer On, Pull Off, and Triplet. There are also a few lively ornaments designed to be played mid note. Just hold the sustain and try them. Again, with the slider controlling which variation is played. Horse, Ghost, and Passion. The passionate crescendo release brings the sustain to an abrupt crescendo stop. There's a nice selection of extended techniques as well, noted in the articulations panel with, you guessed it, a diamond shaped letter E icon. We recorded stylized gypsy versions of sustain, trills, and a new tenuto short note. As you can hear, these are full of character and harmonic overtones. There are very useful repetitions performances in both 8th and 16th note divisions, and you can double their speed with the variation slider. Rounding out the extended group are the Bartok Pizzicatos, Sforzando with long and short versions, and Decrescendo. Again, I'll emphasize that any of the playing and triggering rules can be changed to your taste by using the tact controls. Tact is an extremely flexible and powerful addition to the Gypsy Fiddle, and I encourage you to read more about it and what you can do with it in the manual. Now let me explain these three little icons. The first is our new force string feature. Our Gypsy Fiddle is chromatically sampled and its playable range switches strings automatically every seventh note for easy playing. However, since we recorded each string to the 15th note, we've made those additional samples available to you with force string. To operate, press and hold one of the four force string key switches on G sharp one, A1, A sharp one, and B1 you'll see a portion of the playable range turns light blue, indicating those notes have been replaced with samples recorded all on one specific string. Release the key switch to return to the default mapping. This feature is particularly useful for realistic gypsy fiddle playing as they frequently make full use of the entire fingerboard. The second icon lights up whenever legato is engaged. And the third icon shows the current bow direction, so you'll see this automatically changing a lot. Programming bow direction changes can really help to add realism, so we've created a slew of options for doing so. You can adjust when the fiddler rebows using the rebow slider in the settings panel. New changes bow direction on each new note, great for fast playing. And after that, the sustain will loop indefinitely. Length inserts an automatic bow direction change when the fiddler naturally runs out of bow. You can manually insert a bow change whenever you want. Just press the red key switch at D sharp 2 during a sustain.
If you want to temporarily force all down bows for a more aggressive sound, press and hold E2. And release it to return to alternating. Let's look at the settings panel. Some controls are self-explanatory, but others have unique options and help to make this fiddle sound very realistic. It's worth noting that we offered up many of these controls as sliders in contact, so you can right-click and assign them to any MIDI CC and change them on the fly. Dynamics are controlled with the mod wheel or by dragging this slider. The width slider adjusts stereo width from mono to full. Timbre changes the timbre of the fiddle from darker to brighter. There are four performance modes to choose from. Mono mode plays one note at a time, great for legato playing. Poly mode allows two notes at a time which is as many as most fiddlers can realistically play. Smart mode is normally monophonic unless you play two notes within 50 milliseconds of one another. Lastly, DS or double stop mode adds a second note to the root note to create a double stop, a very common technique in fiddle playing. You'll see this little cog appear, which opens a panel, where you can choose an interval for each of the notes in the scale. There are presets here, or you can get creative and set your own with the drop-down menus. Choosing DS mode automatically engages the scale lock function where you can use the yellow keys at the top of the keyboard here to set a root key for your melody, and it will force all double stops and ornaments to play within that scale. Set major root keys by pressing just a single key, and minor root keys by holding a single key and then pressing the semitone above it. Scale lock is a really groundbreaking feature that automatically chooses the proper double stop interval and ornament variation that goes with the key of your track, without you even having to think about it. A real time saver. Of course, you can turn off scale lock and select ornament variations manually by using this slider, which we've already covered. You'll see the slider's functions swap between intervals or variations, depending on which articulation you're playing. The last control in the settings panel is the Open Notes menu. This allows you to select which sustain samples are assigned to the fiddle's four open strings, G2, D3, A3, and E4. There are three options. Fingered triggers samples from the seventh finger position from the next lowest string. The pitch is identical to the open string, but the tone is a bit different. Open strings are just that. We sample these four strings in their open, not fingered position. Unison triggers both the open string and the fingered note samples described above to achieve a slight chorusing effect. You can also key switch between these modes using C2, C sharp 2, and D2. The little lock icon locks your selection so you won't accidentally change it with the key switches. Our robust effects rack is accessed via this tab, where you can load up to eight effects simultaneously. Load one using the drop down menus, and the arrows here move them left or right in the effects chain. Clicking on an effect pops up all its adjustment controls here with a randomization button for some crazy effects. You can also save your settings for individual effects or for the entire rack using these two drop downs. Now, before I move on to the phrases and effects patch, just a quick mention of the Gypsy Fiddle Lite patch that's included. This version time stretches some samples to save RAM, but still contains all of the regular features and functions. The phrases and effects patch is another really useful part of this library. You can use the samples here to embellish your playable melodies 
as the basis of entire tracks or just as inspiration. There are over 650 samples sorted into various categories. You can use the flexible contact engine to play them or just drag and drop the WAV files into your DAW. I'll play a few using the contact engine. Key switches in this range choose the category. Notice that some categories have multiple key switches, so there's much more here than meets the eye. Percussives and chops are techniques fiddlers use to keep time. We also had our performer whistle and shout. You can see the sample play through here, and underneath is its name and key assignment. There are other effects here like string noises and scrapes that you can sprinkle into your performances for added realism. Our favorite samples here are the freeform improvisations. We recorded so many that we had to categorize them into four distinct groups, energetic, lyrical, polyphonic, and Romani. These improvisations can have their speed manually adjusted here. All the controls in the settings panel are per sample. Whenever you make a change in this panel, the reset button in the top right corner activates. Clicking it returns the sample settings to default. You've got volume and tuning here and stereo width below. The start and end sliders can be used to select only a portion of the sample for playback. This patch also features the same full effects rack described earlier in the video. Gypsy Fiddle is available now for immediate download at redroomaudio.com. There you can get more information, listen to audio demos, and download the full manual. We hope our Traveler series brings an authentic, native spirit to your own music. Thanks for watching.